we got a little bit more time before we hit that 20 minute mark. You want to talk about the long Halloween? I would love to talk about the long Halloween. This has got to be like my new favorite yeah, animated not, Batman movie. Let's let's not talk about it too much because I don't want to go two hours. But we got okay. we got like 15 minutes to talk about the long Halloween. So um I I liked it. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um I like the mystery. I've never read the comic. Um I should probably do that. Um <laughs> yeah, you really should. But like the 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 um you know, spoiler, the the reveal of who it was wasn't the biggest mystery. I kind of figured it out early on. But the thing is, I, I forgot about it. And low key, they did a smart thing where when they when they killed the son at the end of the first movie, it made you immediately it made you immediately go, well, it couldn't be his girl, because why would she kill him? But also, yeah. but also it was at that moment where I also was like, it probably is because he was about to say who who she was but then he got shot <laughs> before he could say it and i was like well at first i was my mind was going between the two it was like it couldn't possibly be her it couldn't possibly be her but also i was like but he was about to say her name and we didn't we didn't get to hear it so it probably is but also the moment i really figured it out was when they mentioned that um like when they went in there and they saw the Ohio State, you know, Ohio University or whatever flag, and then they kept mentioning that he didn't go to Ohio State. And I was like, well, then if he didn't go to Ohio State, then she must have gone to Ohio State. So it's her. <laughs> but um, I was going to be mad if it was Two-Face because I was like, man, that's too easy. <laughs> I kept, I was fully convinced that it was about to be Two-Face. I really was. <laughs> I thought the movie was about to end and it was going to be Two Face, and I was going to be upset because that's so easy. Also, I knew that it wasn't. You, yeah, you. Oh my god! Is it? Oh no! I was just. How close is it to the comic? Uh, not that close, honestly. Um, the comic is a me, lot old. Don't tell me who the killer was. I, I'm, I'm going to read it. <laughs> I want to tell you who the killer was. Um, the comic is well. Oh. Because not telling you who the killer or it, it, that that kind of like changes like my whole respect on everything I was about to say. Yes, I but, uh, you can't spoil that for me. <laughs> okay, they were they were very smart as to. Okay, the comic is a lot less action oriented. There's a whole lot less action in the comic than there is in the movie. The thing is, the even when I was watching the movie, it felt like I felt like there was like little to no action. Like I was watching, like there's really not a lot of action in this, and also Batman's a trash ass detective in this. <laughs> that, I did love that. I loved that line where he was like, he was like, oh, every, like just about everybody in the movie was like, you're really bad at this detective stuff. And then Bruce, when he was alone with Alfred, he's like, you know, when I was first becoming Batman, I didn't think I'd have to be this much of a detective. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's actually kind of funny. He was like, I just want to beat people up. <laughs> Yeah, no, I thought that was hilarious. Well, I low-key want to see that happen in um the Batman film because he's just angry and beating people up. And I feel like he's just point, mad. I feel like at some point somebody's gonna be like, "Hey, you're gonna have to be a bit more smart than this. You're just like beating criminals up. That's not how this works." <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh my god! I mean, uh, granted, that's how police officers do it in real life. <laughs> they just, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Most of the detective work is done by. Uh, either like detectives who haven't really like who are kind of like done with the whole like just randomly attacking people on the street or by the forensics teams so like i mean you know oh uh, i'm sorry Same i mean you, you know how i feel about cops that's all i'm gonna say yeah. um but yeah no as far as accuracy goes it's not like the most accurate uh but it doesn't do a bad job of adapting it um i will say that they kind of and when i say kind of i mean like really kind of not really but kind of changed who the killer was like i don't really know how to say that without spoiling it yeah, but say, like just don't say anything else <laughs> just move on okay <laughs> um but that chinatown fight scene i loved that chinatown fight scene that chinatown fight scene's gotta be one of the best batman animated fight scenes i've ever seen i went back and replayed that fight scene like 12 times and I still watch it from time to time, like not even the whole movie, just the fight scene, because that was an amazing yeah. fight scene. I forgot to mention earlier, now that we're talking about like animated Batman, um, that uh, like Batman in Young Justice is one of my favorite versions of Batman. Oh, same. Because they show his humanity so much. Like one of my favorite, my one of my favorite scenes between 
um, Dick and Batman ever is when he's he's training doing his gymnastics in a basement and then Alfred. Oh, and then they play basketball. He's like Master Wayne wants you. And he goes up and he just tosses him the ball and he's like training and he's like he's um and he was like I forgot what he said but then he said he said two and two and he was like if you think you can take me and then they just played basketball and I was like that was so sweet and also the line yeah. was just like one woman is like you're trying to train him to be you and he's like no I want him to be different or whatever like it's like that version of Batman is just so good <laughs> I really do I love that version of Batman and in my opinion it's one of the more accurate versions of Batman animated or the anime versions of Batman because like Batman in the comics isn't just some deplorable monster who just like goes and fights people like he's an actual human with like I mean actually like the Robins are his children like he really they are his family and he, they lean into that in the show I do like because there's so many different you know versions and takes on characters I do like the versions of Batman where he's like kind of like just recruiting child soldiers I like that version but I also <laughs> I hate I that know. version so yeah, I feel like I feel like we also need more of that version of Batman where he's shown to be human and actually like for example there's a like a great moment in Batman not Batman but Just League Unlimited where he and it's actually it's, I think it's it's the very last episode of Just League Unlimited where they you know um uh what's his name Terry like this is essentially like this was after Batman Beyond ended so they were kind of capping off the story of Batman Beyond with the very last episode of Just League Unlimited. And like Terry was talking to like Barbara and he was talking to um Amanda Waller about like um about Bruce because um and they would tell him the story of how he had saved this one um girl that was about to essentially blow herself up in Nuka City. <laughs> um and um Amanda Waller wanted to kill her to stop her from doing that. But Batman found another way to um to essentially talk her down and keep her from doing what she was doing. And it really showed the humanity of Batman. And I loved it. <laughs> and like, I think we need that more. We need to see that more often. Yeah, I fully agree with that. That side of Batman isn't shown enough. Yeah, but- Like outside all, the comics. Yeah, but that's that's all we got for today. Um, I'm glad we got to talk about the long Halloween just a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna have to read that comic so we can get in a more in-depth discussion about it. Um, I'm gonna let you know now real quick, Dark Victory, in my opinion, is better than Long Halloween. I know that's like a pretty hot take. Like. A lot of people don't aren't like super into a lot of people talk about long halloween they don't talk about dark victory dark victory is the sequel if you like dick grayson you're gonna want to read dark victory that's all i gotta say 